Okay, last video <laughs> in this uh, third video series, so third one. I'm actually getting winded. <laughs> thought I could talk forever, and I guess I cannot. But I absolutely do not want to miss um, the last part of this conversation. I'm also starting to learn. I need to uh, maybe focus less on quantity and more on quality. But hopefully you're getting the essence of my personality and my authenticity, and that's going a long way. So, last topic is homosexuals and heterosexuals. Going to be a, a lesson, uh, possibly controversial, but I love to throw myself in the fire uh, when I feel that I'm sharing something that is good for this world, and I'm not afraid to to uh, collect more haters <laughs> um, because I don't consider them haters. I consider them people who have allowed fear to dominate over love. And I hope that eventually they will see through and join the forces of love because it will do much more for them in their growth and for this world. I am so blessed to have been raised in Santa Fe, New Mexico, USA. We are one of the most liberal, multicultural, multi um, religious communities. I definitely can't say multiracial, <laughs> but we maybe will eventually get there. Um, people who live here are very authentic in a way that is so rare in this world. I grew up in this community, and I would not be Tiffany Visionista Crest without the support of these loving people. Uh, we learn from each other here, and I think because compassion um, is really at the front um, of our growth. We are a strong and tightly knit community. We also, um, we, we have a large population of uh, homosexuals, people who prefer and are attracted to their gender. What am I? I am heterosexual. I've always been heterosexual. I've always known this. And I was raised in a strict religious Christian faith that said homosexuals are wrong. It's a sin. Remember the first discussion I had with some friends about this? And they were cautious, but they were also very encouraging me to grow and say to try to see this from different eyes. I will never forget that conversation we had in the car because it pushed my buttons in a way that I really stopped and I thought I need to see this in a different light. And I already had friends at the time who were homosexual, but I was confused as to what did I think about this? Was it a sin? Uh, we are all influenced by the families we grew up in, uh, the religions we grew up in. Some Christian faiths are more orthodox and conservative and some are more liberal. I definitely am more... Um, I am a liberal Christian. I am a progressive Christian. I am a universal Christian. Um, and I'm grateful to have the perspective that I do have now. What I want to encourage people to see when it comes to this topic is you don't have to change your belief overnight. Um, that's somewhat revolutionary. But I want to encourage you to see the heart of people who are homosexual. If you do not like them, you probably are threatened by them. If you know where you stand and what you are, and you know what gender you're attracted to, and you respect them, you will find that it goes a long ways. Because they no longer are threatening to you, and your hatred and disrespect towards them should 
come to a revelation that it does bad in this world, that it's not a good thing for you or for them. I remember uh, when the Matthew Shepard case happened, and I was so distraught when I heard what happened to that young man. I knew <laughs> with every atom in me that that was nothing to do with Jesus, that Jesus would never, ever have preached that type of hatred. Jesus was all about love. And people who hate other people like that, they know nothing of the true essence of Jesus at all. In high school, I was on the JV basketball team at Santa Fe High School. Um, I was actually the only white girl on the JV team, and I was called Barbie. Um, I remember us going to a restaurant one time, and I felt like I had to prove myself, and so I had some insane amount of Tabasco sauce to prove how tough I was and that I could hang with these girls. Um, and I'm sure there were things about me that they're like, you know, they thought to be somewhat threatening. I was different. They were different. We were different. But I love that group of girls because they taught me certain aspects of this world that I wanted to understand better. And through their eyes, I was able to see it. And I think I taught them certain aspects um, that through my eyes, because of who I was and the background that I came from, and they were able to see it in a different light. So it was a growing experience for us. Um, there was a friend at the time who I still consider to be a friend of mine. We haven't communicated in some time, but you know, obviously when you have a lot of friends and you go through different stages in your life, because you don't communicate doesn't mean you're still not friends on some level. Um, she was going through, I think, this whole stage of trying to find her sexuality. and I think she always knew she was homosexual. She was attracted to girls and not guys. And we were good friends. She was dating a guy. And then, um, you know, we had some really deep talks. And I read into the situation. I knew she was searching. And I was just able to see her heart. And she really planted seeds in my life. Because I learned to just love her as she was. And I think she just felt more comfortable to be who she was and to grow into this dynamic of this person who she knew, you know, she was going to create waves and she wasn't sure how her family was going to be and to react. And I admired her courage. I, I don't know if she ever really knew that, but I, I really did. And she was instrumental in helping me grow into a deeper understanding of people who are different from me. Um, and to judge less and to try to see their heart better. There's also another girl who I uh, met junior or senior year of uh, cross country, Santa Fe High School. And I mean, everyone knew she was homosexual, but for some reason, she attracted more hatred than most homosexuals that I came across at Santa Fe High School. And at this point in time, I knew where I stood. I knew I was heterosexual. But I also knew that I wasn't going to take people talking trash about people who were different. And I, on a couple of occasions, um, when people said such hateful remarks, I interjected. Um, because I, I felt that there was a, a vulnerability that people could act on, and I was... I cared about her a lot. Um, I'm thankful that God put those people in my life because I was able to see their heart. Um, back to this friend who I just referred to, probably one of the sweetest, kindest people you could ever meet. Um, there was a sincerity and genuine goodness about her that I see in very few people. And I have a really good heart. So, I think I can gauge these things. And when I saw her goodness, 
I was forced to 